So this is the Trauma 5.0 XL because I'm a tall guy from Amok and we got these yesterday actually. And the Amok family is a part of this journey with the bikes and all this now and that's really beautiful. We started this video out with being at the beach and laying down there but we needed to move space because we couldn't sleep down there. So we are at this place now and we have the opportunity to show you how to set up the trauma and set up the shield. In Danish and Norwegian we would call it stjål. So this is a top for the top. So I put this up in my head height first and I will find the port right here and I will put this one inside so it's locked in place and you can pull it so you can level the hammock. And after that, just need to pull it out. And I packed it down a little bit fast, so it's a little bit put around. And after that's done, actually we should put this one up first. So let's go over here and I can show you exactly how we're doing it. I take it in my height, my head height, and put it up. It's around here, I think, right? Mm -hmm. And you pull it through like this, so it's safe and secure. And after that, you find the green key. And you do the same trick again. So like this. We started out with putting the this one that way and it will just slide out. So now we have this part and we are ready for the sleeping pad. So this is the sleeping pad. Fly. Fjell. Fly. Fjell. Fjell. Yes. Fjell. And that's also an XL because I'm still a tall guy. Ellie's behind the camera and she has the normal version. So that's the smart thing with with a mug, you can get it in all the versions. And this is the blowing bag. I think you can call it that. So you can blow up the sleeping pad instead of using your lungs. It's a really useful. I will say a smart tip to a mug. Next time, build this out as the bag you have it in. Because we have like a, a Klimit two person sleeping pad. And the bag for the sleeping pad is the blowing bag. So that's a smart upgrade. We will save a little bit of weight and save to yeah, get lost with one of them. And the only thing you need to do is Okay, we can show the smart trick we learned. The smart trick we learned is pull this up when you when you want to take the air out. But first we will put it down here and And do this. But that can happen sometimes. And it takes some blows before you have all air in. But that's better than just fill up with your own lungs. Uh, actually, Ellie learned me a trick. <sighs> Do this. It will go faster. And we are done. So the thing we can do now is remove the box and find this zipper in the bottom and put, insert the sleeping pad into the amok. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get it the last bit.
but it's worth it. And put the sleeping pad in and of course it's fully blown, it's fully filled with air now, so it's need a little bit, uh, no, it's need, need a little bit help to come under this part and after that you can sip it. And this is the sticks, you will get them. At the side when you get the hammock but you can actually have them inside the back for the hammock so it's you use them for holding the ends up and we can also put one back here and now the hammock is ready and I will show you one last thing before we are going down and taking a swim in the beautiful sea down here it's how to come in to this hammocks because that's not easy. I learned it last year from Arne at Danish Outdoor Festival and I actually forgot it when we tried it earlier today. So you do this, you take the core over your head, find the place down here where you want to put your ass and going up. And now my hammock is set up as a chair and you can pull these to sit more up and you can take them more down to lay flat because this is a flat sleeping system so you can actually sleep on the side and how you want because you're leveled and flat so we will go down now and take a swim I can also show you how to come out you do the same hold to this and hold your hand here and go up and we will go down and take a swim <laughs>